I say great day to the class. Great day. My name is Stefan Williams and I will be your moderator for today's class. Please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices. Thank you. Welcome to another lecture given by Walking in the Spirit Omaha class. This is a class and it is not a church and neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This class is a non-profit, non-denominational, religious and scientific research class dedicated to showing the proof of the existence of Yahweh our Elohim and the operations of His eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operate on eternity to this present day. This class was established as a result of a divine panoramic vision accompanied by a divine panoramic, panoramic revelation given to Dr. Henry Clifford Kennelly in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, and certain other foreign countries. The Omaha class was established in the year 2016. In this class, we use the true, original, correct, 
and holy divine name of the Father, the Word, or Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted by Lord. The true title of the Word or Son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. It has been erroneously substituted by Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and they are not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. We now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means that Elohim is the title that our Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name, but Jesus is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part into any good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove to you that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin languages have neither characters or letters in their alphabets that produce the sound that is made by this letter J. And neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. So, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible remedies of the true and original name of the Father and his son. Christ is a title just like Lord and God. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit and in this state he's incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh symbolized on this chart as a cloud Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose a cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape or form. We have drawn a cloud all around the edges of this chart to show you how that everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now, Yahweh, knowing that man could not perceive of him in his pure spirit state, he took on shape, he took on form, right within himself as Elohim. This is the Word or Son, a super incorporeal being that is having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. And this form can only be seen in divine panoramic visions accompanied by divine panoramic revelation. Also, this, this self-same spirit manifested himself in the physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now there's only one name given to salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question we all should be asking ourselves is, what was David's Savior during the time that he walked the earth flame? A further understanding of this name and title can be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this class, we teach by a divine pattern of the universe. It is called a divine pattern of the universe because of Yahweh's pattern. At the Yahweh, let the children of Israel out of Egypt. He called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him his tabernacle pattern in the vision. He then instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the walls of Sinai. The pattern consists of a most holy place, a holy place, and a court round about. These 
three compartment make up the one time knuckle pattern. Also in this class, we show proof how that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and function of this threefold tabernacle pattern and absolutely nothing escapes this pattern. Our ten primary constitutional aims and objectives of this class is as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is and how he actually exists. Second, to form a, a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without distinction of race, nationality, sex, creed, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law or so-called law of nature and powers latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, philosophy, psychology, modern practical, and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstitions, skepticisms, and ignorance. Sixth, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through a dispensation in ages. Seventh, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through a dispensation of time. Eighth, to earnestly contend for the common salvation of faith, which is what delivered to the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained. There is no other name whereby man can be saved that save the name of Yahshua the Messiah and tenth, that is to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in a nourished state. Our watchword is peace. Our slogan is speak the truth. We'll begin today's class with the opening prayer. That prayer will be given by Dr. Dr. Stefan Williams, we will have one selection of song. And our scripture lesson for today's class lecture is 1 Corinthians 3rd chapter, and that will be read by Dr. Rapunzel Williams. Let's all remain seated for the opening prayer. I'd like to say great day to the class once again. Great day. Let's all bow our hearts and minds and give reverence and thanks and thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua the Messiah. Heavenly Father Yahweh, we just um, thank you once again for your mercy and your grace and your loving kindness and your faithfulness. Father, we ask that you decrease our outward man and increase our inward man that's made in the image and likeness of you. We ask that you strengthen us in our inward man. Father, we ask that you open up our spiritual eyes to understand today, our spiritual ears to understand today, Father, and our soul to receive the special prepared meal that we already have prepared for our souls before the foundation of the world. All these requests and blessings follow the last name, only begotten Son, only wise Elohim, our saving King and Brother, Yash Messiah. Let us all say, Hallelujah. Yeah. 
for we are laborers together with Yahweh. Ye are Yahweh's field, ye are Yahweh's building. According to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For another foundation can no man lay then that is laid, which is Yahshua the Messiah. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, or stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall re receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, it shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as the fire, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the Spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this age, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, Yahweh knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore let no man's glory in men, for all things are yours. Whether soul or Apollos or Kappa or, in, or, or the world, or life, or death, or things present, or things to come, all are yours. And ye are the Messiah, and the Messiah is Yahweh. I just read for you First Corinthians, the third chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like to say great day to the class once again. Great day. I'd like to remind everyone that is viewing this class video and those that are present here in this class setting to please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices. Thank you. Now I'd like to call on our first speaker for today's class. We'd actually like to call on Dr. Rapunzel Williams. Great day, class. Great day. I have to give uh, honor and thanks and glory to Yahshua, Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua the Messiah, for allowing me to come back to another class once again to learn more of his purpose, his power, and his plan. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to say, as we say um, in every class, this was divine vision and revelation um, given straight from Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Um, let's just see what Yahweh has today for us to teach about Him. Um, we're asking Yahweh to remove ourselves from, remove ourselves and let it be Yahweh, Yahshua Messiah, doing the teaching and the preaching in these classes. Um, first I'd like to say I'm thankful and grateful that I now and do know the true name of my Heavenly Father. Let us start out with, uh, let's uh, have no anxiety. Have no anxiety. Yes. Uh, 
Matthew 10. Matthew, the 10th chapter, and verse 19. Just a moment here. Matthew 10 and 19. Holy Name Bible says, But when they deliver you up, have no anxiety concerning how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Verse 20. Matthew 10 and 20th verse. Holy Name Bible says, For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Have no anxiety on what you're going to get up here to say. Because uh -huh. it's not you that's doing the teaching and the preaching, but it's the father in you that's doing the teaching and the preaching. Right. Okay. I can remember years ago uh, seeing my father repair his message for every Sunday's, every Sunday and Friday and Wednesday's class. Uh -huh. But it says, and you just, we just read it. Have no anxiety of what you're going to get up here to say. Right. Well, it's not you that's doing the teaching and the preaching. It's what's in you that's doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you don't have to write down nothing. You don't have to have anything prepared. Right. But it's the Father that's in you that's doing the teaching and the preaching. Not you yourself. Right. Not, not, it's not about you. It's about what's in you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, let's get uh, Habakkuk 2 and 2. Rebecca, the second chapter. Just a moment here. Rebecca, Rebecca, second chapter, and verse two. From the Holy Name Bible, it says, "And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision." It make it plain upon tables that everyone may read it fluently. For the vision yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay, like we say in all moderation, this was a vision, a divine vision, and divine revelation. Mm hmm. Given to our father, Dr. Henry C. Kelly, in the year of 1931. In the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. Now, this was a vision given to divine vision. Divine vision given to him. This is what Yahweh wanted us to learn about him, learn about our heavenly Father. This is the way that Yahweh wanted us to learn about our heavenly Father. Um, which on these, each one of these uh, plates or one of these, each on one of these charts has chapters and verses on them. Uh huh. So you can refer and go back to the Bible on every single chart and plate that you see here. You can go back to your Bible and read about it to give you a better understanding. These are, uh, are uh, pictorial illustrations that go along with the Bible. Right. And this is the way that Yahweh wanted us to learn about Him. Mm -hmm. And like I said, every one of these plates or charts have their own uh, scriptures and verses on them. Chapters and verses on them. Uh -huh. And like I said, this is how Yahweh wanted us to learn, uh, learn about him. And it says, wait for the vision because it will come. I'm not saying that right. I don't want to say that wrong. You, you said there are chapters yeah, and no. verses on there. Yes, sir. What are they? Um, well, we have one. We have them here. Uh, right here was Moses was on uh, top of Mount Sinai. And the seven elders, and the seventy elders, and we have Exodus uh, 24, 1, 2, 9, and 18 here. Okay, well, okay. want me to read that? Or? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. All right. So, a panoramic vision of Elohim to Moses. The vision of Elohim in incorporeal form. Exodus 24, 1, 2, 9, and 18. All right. Exodus, the 24th chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the verses again? Uh, Exodus 24, 1, 2, 9 and 9 through 18. 
All right, Exodus 24 chapter starting at verse 1. Yes, sir. 1 and 2. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Exodus 24 chapter, verse 1 and 2, Holy Name Bible says, And he said unto Moses, Come up to Yahweh, thou and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seven of the elders of Israel. And here we have show right here, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu. Mm-hmm. Okay. And seventy elders of Israel. And the seventy elders of Israel. Now, you, uh, Moses was the only one that could go up here to the top of the mountain. Uh -huh. Okay, but as you see, they still see in a vision. The, this white uh, 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 shows like a vision in, in the clearness. Okay, this whiteness shows as this as far as they can go is right here. But Moses was the only one able to go to the very top of the mountain. Exodus 24 chapter verse 1 again it says and and he said unto Moses once again Exodus 24 chapter verse 1 Holy Name Bible says and he said to Moses come up to Yahweh thou and Aaron Nadab and Abihu and seven elders of Israel and worship ye afar off and Moses alone shall come near Yahweh but they shall not come nigh neither shall the people go up with him okay. and what's the other verses uh, 9 through 18, sir. Okay. Exodus 24, chapter, verse 9 through 18, verse. Holy Name Bible says, Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seven of the elder Israel, and they saw the Elohim Israel. And there was under his feet, as it were the paved work of a sapphire stone, and it were the body of heaven in its clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he laid not his hand. Also they saw Elohim and did eat and drink. Now they saw, they saw the Elohim of Israel. Mm -hmm. And under his feet was a, like, as a sapphire stone. Okay? And as you see here, this is what they saw in this vision. Uh -huh. Okay, same as right here, what they saw is the same as right here. Elohim, super incorporeal form. Mm -hmm. Manifest in the visions of two Moses, mm -hmm. John and the prophets. Right. Exodus 24 and, and uh, yeah. Dr. Williams just read 9, it says 9 and 10. Uh -huh. Also, we get Revelations 3 and 14. Okay. All okay. Right. Want that read? Yes, sir. Okay. This is what they saw now up here on top of Mount Sinai. The, uh, the uh, Elohim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not not God, but they saw Elohim. Mm -hmm. Elohim is a divine name that Yahweh divine chose for Divine title. Him. Divine title that Yahweh chose for himself. Excuse me. A divine title that Yahweh chose for himself. Mm-hmm. So you want that read? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Revelations 3 and 14, and then Isaiah 6, 1 through 4. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Revelations 3 and what? Uh, 3 and 14, sir. Okay. And Isaiah? 6, 1 through 4, sir. Okay. Just a moment here, ladies and gentlemen. Revelation 3 and 14, I'll be reading from the Holy Name Bible. Revelation 3rd chapter, verse 14, Holy Name Bible says, And unto the messenger of the, the semi of led the sins, write, These things say, saith that I will be, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of Yahweh. Okay? Yes. Now that's, well, and what's the other one? Uh, Isaiah 6, 1 through 4. Isaiah 6, chapter, verse 1 through 4. Holy Name Bible says, In, in, in the year that King Uzziah died, I also, I also, I saw also Yahweh sitting upon the throne, mm -hmm. high and lifted up, mm -hmm. and his train filled the temple. Mm -hmm. and, and above it says, above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, with twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another, 
and said, Holy, holy, holy is Yahweh of hosts. The whole earth is, filled, is full of his glory. In the post of the door, move at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Okay, now this is the divine vision and revelation. A divine vision and revelation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all my life I'm thinking that uh, the word was the, 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 the book. But the word or son is Elohim. Uh -huh. And you only see Elohim in divine vision. Understood in divine revelation. Right. Okay. So like I said, this was divine vision and revelation. This is the way that Yahweh wanted us to understand and know about our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not inside one of these buildings on the corner as we call churches. Mm -hmm. Okay? I come to find out that my body is the church. I'm the, I'm the temple. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go inside no building to learn about how and what my Heavenly Father is and how He does exist. Right. Okay? He's inside of you. Mm -hmm. we, we also have this, this uh, trot right here, plate or trot right here, it's an egotistical, misdirected personalities. Mm -hmm. This is what's inside these uh, buildings on the corner. Uh, the carnal way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all had this carnal way of thinking. Carnality, changeable, morals, temporal, corruptible, mortality, and, uh, mortality, theory, concept, opinions. Mm -hmm. That's what we have here in these churches on the corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, their image, flesh, death. Sight, touch, sound, taste, smell, eternal damnation, okay, with the uh, science of mind. Well, this is what we want to be. We want to be spiritually minded, mm -hmm. okay? We want the law of the spirit, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, the Messiah, spirituality, spirit, spirituality, spirituality immor immortal, Im Im immutable. immutable, righteousness, eternal, incorporeal, incorruptible. Immort uh, immortality, proof, precept, and truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we want to have with, that's us inside of us. That's us all in all of us, okay? Mm -hmm. We just, majority of us, a lot of us, don't realize who we truly and how we really, and how we really do exist and how Yahweh does dwell inside of all of us. Because all of us can, we can't do anything of ourselves. No. We can't even get up in the morning of ourselves. We can't even lay down by ourselves. We have no, we can't even move around through the day without Yahweh being in us to make us move around. To have us see, to have us smell, to have us understand. It's all Yahweh that's in us that's making us do these things. We always think it's all about me and I'm doing it, but we're not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. We don't have no power to make nobody breathe. We have no power to even make our own self breathe. Right. Okay? We walk every day in Yahweh. Every day we walk in Yahweh. Every day we walk in Yahweh. Mm -hmm. It's all Yahweh. It's all Yahweh. And it's not nothing else. It's all Yahweh. We walk in Yahweh. You can make a Y this way. Mm -hmm. Or you can make a Y this way. In any way you look at it, it's all Yahweh. Uh -huh. Our veins go into Y's. Just, just I have never seen no vein be a J or an L in my life. Right. I have always seen a veins run into our bodies. They're all Y's. Uh -huh. Even the roots, when you pull a root up out the ground, that root's a Y. Right. It's not a J nor an L. Yeah. Okay? It's, it's not nothing else. When you look at trees outside, this is how I realize and, and realize truly how Yahweh does exist. Oh, and we are, we have one right here. Let's go right here. Our, even our trees outside have wise. Mm -hmm. Each one of the each anything else that branches off there it still branches off of that into a Y. Oh. No matter which way you go, it still branches off into a Y. Yeah. Okay. And when and what really had me to realize and understand that this creation is truly Yahweh's and not and not God, not Lord Jehovah, God and Jesus Christ, is by the things that were shown to me when I first found out about my Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Which was brought to me, like I said, the veins, the roots when you pull them out of the ground, 
all goods. When I don't care what you plant, you pull it out. It's 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 got it's it's all V's. I mean Y's. Right. Okay. It doesn't matter. Our 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 trees that we look at every single day. Let's think about how many trees there is in this entire world. Mm -hmm. You know that we've been looking at them trees all along and thinking them trees are just trees, but actually those trees have Yahweh's. They they're Yahweh's trees. They have the the letter Y in them. Right. Okay. They have the letter Y in them. Look at our 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 our, our hands. Mm -hmm. They all branch out into Y's. They don't branch out into no L's and no J's and no and, and no G's. Those are all. This is we are, uh, we are all Yahweh's. Mm -hmm. Everything in this entire world is of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. All my life, I'm thinking, Lord, Jehovah, God, and Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, and that's and 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 how we've been fooled by these names, and how people are still yet being fooled by these names. Yeah. You know, it it ain't stop. It's not gonna stop till y'all we take this creation up out of here. Right. Okay. Well, people are still yet being fooled by these names, erroneous names and titles. Okay. Name them. Uh, Lord, Jehovah, God, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. Buddha, Krishna, Hawashi, all of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But being that I have known, and I have, now I have known about how my Heavenly Father really is and how He actually exists, that I am no longer in this Lord, Jehovah, God, and Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now I know that my Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and the Word of the Son is Elohim, and the Holy Spirit name is Yahshua the Messiah not Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and like I said, all my life I'm thinking that the Word of Son was the... The Word. The Word of Son was the Bible. But I'm finding, I found out that the, this... The Word. The Word. <laughs> they would say the Word in children and they would hold up the Bible and say this is the Word. But no, the Word or Son is Elohim, mm -hmm. not that, not the Bible. It's Elohim, and like I say, it's divine title given from Yahweh Himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Yahweh here, Yahweh is spirit, substance, essence, and formless. Could you get for me, please, Deuteronomy six and four? Okay. Just a moment. Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, in verse four, from the Holy Name Bible, it says, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our Elohim is Yahweh a unity. Yahweh our Elohim is Yahweh a unity. Mm -hmm. Now, the religious world, they put them all as a trinity. Okay, they put God, Lord's one, G God's uh, Lord's one, God's one, Jesus Christ is another. Mm -hmm. But Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua Messiah is one. It's a unity. Okay, let's also get Deuteronomy four twelve. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, and verse 12 from the Holy Name Bible says, And Yahweh spake unto you out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude, only ye heard a voice. Uh -huh. And now, I said this is Yahweh is spirit, substance, essence, formless. As we also say in the moderation, this is Yahweh. Incomprehensible, inexcusable. And 
And now let's we we already read Elohim, a super corporal form, manifest in visions to Moses, John and the prophets, and we had already read Doctor Williams read Exodus twenty four, nine and ten. He also read Revelation three and fourteen, and he also read Isaiah six and, and one through four. Uh -huh. Also seen at the transformation by Peter. Transfiguration. Yes, transfiguration by Peter. James and John. Let's get Matthew uh, 17, 1 and 2. Okay. Just a moment here, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew, the 17th chapter, verse 1 and 2. Yes, sir. Matthew, the 17th chapter, verse 1 and 2 from the Holy Name Bible says, And after six days, mm -hmm. Yahshua taketh take Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up to a high mountain. Mm -hmm. We say Peter, James, and John. Mm -hmm. all, 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 uh, all Peter, James, and John is confirming, or what John is doing is just confirming what Moses seen, what Moses has seen. That's all that is. Right. Okay? He's just confirming the same thing that Moses had already seen and what Moses had already had said. So Peter, James, and John. Let me finish. Okay. Once again, Matthew, the 17th chapter, verse 1 and 2 from the Holy Name Bible says, and After six days, Joshua taken Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bring them up into a high mountain apart, mm -hmm. and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Mm -hmm. Now we have Yahweh, his pure, his pure spirit, substance, essence. We have Elohim, super corporal form. We have Yahshua Messiah, physical form of Yahweh, manifest in the flesh. John one and four. Could you get that one for me? John one and fourteen. One and fourteen, yes, sir. John, the first chapter, verse 14, yes. from the Holy Name Bible, it says, And the Word was made flesh, mm -hmm. and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth, gospel the Messiah. And then it's First Timothy 3.16, please. Okay, First Timothy three sixteen. I read that from the King James Bible. Uh, inserting the true and correct name of our Heavenly Father Yahweh. Uh, just a moment here, First Timothy three sixteen. Says, and without controversy, great is the mercy of Yahweh. Yahweh was manifest in the flesh, mm -hmm. justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preaching to the Gentiles, believed up in the world, received up into glory. Yes, but I haven't no debates about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I haven't any debates about it. Debates about it. Yes, sir. And then let's get uh, Colossians 1, 15 through 17. Okay. Colossians, the first chapter, and verse 15 to 17 verses from the Holy Name Bible says, Who is the image of the invisible El, the first cause of all creation, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is, a, he is before all things, and in him all things have been permanently placed. That's right. Out of the first L, it's Elohim. Mm -hmm. Okay? All things were created by him and for him. And if you look right here, we say, this is Elohim. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua Messiah. Mm -hmm. And if you look right here, this is Elohim. This is Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua Messiah. All things were created by him 
and for him. Right. Everything that you're looking at in this entire world, this entire universe, the stars and moons and everything else, the planets, it's always made by Yahweh, the first L. Mm -hmm. All things was by made by him. Right. Okay. And it was permanently placed. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything that's misplaced anywhere that's for it's permanent place just the way it's supposed to be. Right. I just want to give a little testimony about Yahweh, Elohim, Yash Messiah. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful and grateful to know that these, th this is a, a unity and not a trinity. Right. Okay, being brought up thinking, and being brought up in trinity, but now knowing that this is a unity here, uh -huh. all together. Mm -hmm. Yahweh here, Yahweh here, and Yahweh here. That's right. Okay, you can't get outside of Yahweh. We can't get outside of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. If you got anything out of this, all praise and honor go to Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say great day to the class once again. Great day. My name is Stefan Williams. I'll be your next speaker. I'd like to say great day to the class once again. Great day. I'm thankful and grateful to Yahweh Elohim Yahshua Messiah for bringing me back to the class one more time. Sit me down to learn more of Him. I truly is how He actually exists, and learn more of His eternal divine purpose, pattern, and plan, and how He has already accomplished our salvation. I truly enjoyed the, the, the first uh, speaker, uh, beautiful testimony there. i um, just going to just uh, continue on uh, what she was uh, getting to get into. Uh, um, get from me, uh, go back and get Habakkuk 2 and 2. It's already wrote down. Don't worry about that. Go on and get, get Habakkuk 2 and 2. And if the, those that are viewing this class uh, video, if you truly, if you truly paid attention and was following the first speaker, and she had read Matthew 10 and 19 and 20, it said that the Father in her will be doing the speaking or or the teaching. All right, okay. Yes. Um. Uh, before you get it, Becca two and two, go on and get uh um. Go on and get um. Um. John 14 and 26. And also get um, 1 John 2 and 27. Okay? And uh, get this get this whole name chart out for the viewing audience before you start reading, please. John 14, 26, get this whole name chart top to bottom, side to side, so the viewing audience can see it clearly and, and, and follow along as, uh, as we go along. John 14, 26. John 14 and 26, our Lord name, Bible. Uh-huh. But the Comforter... Now, this is who is speaking. This is Yash Messiah talking. He said, now, but the Comforter... Read. Which is the Holy Spirit. Now, the Comforter and the Holy Spirit are titles. So every title has a name. We're going to find out what the name of the Comforter and the Holy Spirit is. And what is its job. Read on. Come on. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. whom the Father will send in my name. Whom the Father Yahweh will send in the name of Yahshua. Read. Shall teach you all things. Now that's the that's, that's the job of the Comforter and the Holy Spirit is, is he's the teacher and he's teaching you and I. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The first thing I already had read Matthew nine the Matthew the tenth chapter and verse nineteen and twenty said when you have when you're called up to speak, take no anxiety. What what are no prepared script. What what you going to say? Right? He right. said it's going to be the Father teaching and doing the preaching and speaking through you. Is that right? Right. 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 See? So there's a father. So in other words, the first speaker went over beautifully 
and we're gonna read. We're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna uh, just amplify it, uh, or just go into a little more of a more of a greater detail than what she already brought out. Great foundation. Now she went over and had Deuteronomy six and four read, mm -hmm. where it says, "Hear, O Israel, right." Mm -hmm. Yahweh, our Elohim, is Yahweh a unity. Is that right? Mm -hmm. See? Meaning that Yahweh, he's just one spirit. But he has three states of himself. He has two manifestations of himself. He is pure spirit. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Says Yahweh here and Yahweh here and Yahweh here. You see how that go? Mm -hmm. So, In, in other words, Yahweh is playing all the roles. Yes. Okay? Now, I'm going to put it on myself as a Romans 1, 19 and 20. It's one of our theme songs of the class. Right? Rome, Romans 1, 19 and 20. It says, in, in, in the verse, I'm just going to just paraphrase it. It says, it takes the, it takes the visible to understand the invisible. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the um, the visible. So, you, um, so you, I'm, I'm going to use my this physical body as a visible, okay, or physical, right? To understand the the spiritual or the invisible. Is that right? So my name is Stefan. Yes. Only have one name, mm -hmm. but I have many titles. And this one body by the one name Stefan plays many roles. Right. Is that right? Plays a husband role, a father role, a grandfather role, a nephew role, you listening? Mm -hmm. A brother role, mm -hmm. an employee role. Is that right? right. All this one body. Right. You listening? Mm -hmm. And not only that, I have a head cavity, mm -hmm. a chest cavity, and a abdominal cavity. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Three parts to this physical body, one body. Right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I have limbs. But that's not the most important part of this physical body. Right. Is that right? right. Now we're going to put it over here. See? See? The tabernacle, I'm going, I'm going too far. I'm going, I'm going to leave that alone for a minute. We're going to go, to the, we're going to go here. This, this chart says, man made in the image of Elohim by the pattern of the tabernacle. Is that right? right. Now it says tabernacle of man. Mm -hmm. So man has a head cavity, a chest cavity, and a abdominal cavity. Three parts to the man, one man, right? right? Now, man does have limbs, mm -hmm. but you have seen as a witness, those that are viewing this, that, those that are viewing this class video, mm -hmm. you have seen a human being without legs or arms, right. and they're still getting around, they're still breathing, that right? That's right. See, you cannot live without your head being served off your, off your body, is that right? right? You cannot live without your chest cavity missing. Right. Listen, you cannot live without your abdominal cavity not attached to your chest and your chest attached to your head. You got me? Yes. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that takes the natural or the visible to understand the invisible, the spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So meaning that Yahweh has three states. You listen? Yes. He's one spirit. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And then we can take it over here as the first speaker already had had. See, this is the supporting nature of Yahweh. We see how it says Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. Do you see three individuals here? No. That would be a trinity, right? Right. So it's Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. You got me? Yes. The supporting nature of Yahweh in bodily form at who the world calls Godhead uh, in your King James Bible according to Romans 1, 19 and 20 verses. We'll say Godhead in one of the two verses. Romans 1, 19 or 20 verse say God here in the King James Bible. Mm -hmm. The Holy Name Bible will, will say how it's supposed to truly be supernal nature, nature of yes, Yahweh sir. in bodily form. You listening? Yes, sir. See? See? We can know our Heavenly Father Yahweh. Mm -hmm. his, his, we can know his eternal power mm -hmm. and his supernal nature. Mm -hmm. You listening? Yes. You understand? Yes. Okay? All right. So, just get this whole chart back out, and now, now back to John fourteen twenty six. It said, "But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, we all we already understand the name of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter is Yahshua. 
It said, whom the Father, Yahweh, will send in my name. Is that right? Yes. Now, well, it would appear to be this is it's, it's three names, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it's only one name. Right. What I'm saying is Yahweh is the Father. Yahweh has the Word of the Son. Yahweh has the Holy Spirit, Yahshua. You listen to it? Yes. We got the reading, 1 Timothy 3, 16, right? Mm -hmm. Without debate, without controversy, without, without any argument, is that right? Mm -hmm. Great is the mystery of Yahweh, right? right. Yahweh was manifested in the physical body as Yahshua Messiah, you listen to it? Yeah. Who the world calls the wrongly Jesus Christ, it will tell you that Jesus is God's little boy. You listen? Mm -hmm. Not only is that erroneous saying that, in other words, God and Jesus is erroneous. Right. You listen? Alright? But truly this is this this inscription on here, which a lot of Christians wear around their neck, this cross, right? Mm -hmm. Saying Jesus. Right? right? That's erroneous. Mm -hmm. And this this I in our I does not say Jesus. Right. Is that right? right? We're going to tour right now. We're going to come on back. Get this for the viewing audience. And get for me John, the 19th chapter, verse 19 and 20. Let's see if this inscription says Jesus or not. <laughs> see, wait around your neck talking about Jesus. You listening? Right. And then got your then talking about this is this Jesus God little boy. You listening? Yeah. See? Not only do they have the, the name wrong, see, but this is Yahweh himself manifest in a physical body at the sun. You listening? Yeah. I'm going to prove that and, and prove that uh, 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 get him one other spot and we'll come on back. Uh, just a moment here, ladies and gentlemen. Just a moment here. This one. I need to read 2nd second, second Corinthians um, Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 19. Okay? Right now? Uh, no. Why, why, why would you come from here? Okay? And uh, there's one other one. It says, uh, um, just a moment here. Just a moment. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Father in me that doeth the work. It's the Father in me that doeth the work. Yeah, get, uh, Go ahead and read. I, I, I'll, I'll find it. Go ahead and read that when I called out. Okay. John 19, 19 and 20 out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. to, to, uh, for those that, that are viewing this broadcast, or I mean, viewing, viewing this class video, mm -hmm. might not knew, or might not know what this inscription reads and what it, and what the language it was written in. Listen? Right. See? When this took place. Right. See? For your salvation mm -hmm. is in the name. You listening? Yes. Not any, not anything you want to, not anything you want to just make up and throw on here. You listening? Right. And then wrong you say that this is this is God, little little boy. You listening? Yes. See. Read on. Uh, John nineteen, nineteen and twenty from the Bible. Uh huh. And Pilate bought a title. And put it on the cross. Now, now, Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, ladies and gentlemen. Is this a cross here? Yes, it is. See, this was he. He was like this. Now he put a title on the cross, 
Read, and you see the title there. What, what does it say? And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was Yahshua of Nazareth. So, so the I, see this is, this is, this is Latin written up here. See? Latin and Greek. In other words, the I is pronounced as a Y. Okay? For Yahshua. Right? Mm -hmm. King James Bible will say Jesus. See? Mm -hmm. No J, no Jesus. He's going to tell you that. He's going to tell you. So there's no J's in the Hebrew, Latin, and Greek to this day. Right. Wasn't no, it, there was no J in, 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 any, or in any language when this took place. See? The J had come to existence to 1,400 years after this act took place for, for the whole human race. You listening? Yes. See? It was done in a name. You listening? Yes. There's no salvation name of Jesus. There's a salvation name of Jehovah. You listening? Mm -hmm. Allah, Buddha, Krishna. You listening? Yes. There's only salvation in one name. See? And that name is Yahshua the Messiah. Read on. And the writing was Yahshua of Nazareth, uh -huh. the king. The king. Now he says R here. The R, R is, is, is the first uh, letter in the word Rex. R-E-X. Rex meaning king. You listening? Mm -hmm. So it's surely Yahshua of Nazareth, the king of the Yehudites. Okay? And read on. And the writing was Yahshua of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Or truly the king of the Yehudites. No J, no Jews. You listen to mm -hmm. But the most important name is, is, is Yahshua. You listen? Right. Mm -hmm. See, wherever, we, wherever, we, wherever you see a J in your Bible, it's supposed to be a Y there. Yeah. You listen? Mm -hmm. But those Jew, the name Jew or Joseph or Jer Jeremiah, Jesus, you listen? Yes. Yeah. Those names you can't be saved in. The only name you can be saved in is Yahshua. You listening? Yeah. See? Read on. This title then read many of the Jews. Uh-huh. For the... No, say it where it's supposed to be. Jews say Yehudas. Yes. Read. This read what? This title then read many of the Yehudas. Uh, read. For the place where Yahshua was crucified uh -huh. was nigh to the city. Read. And it was written in... It was in written in what? In what? Hebrew. It was written in Hebrew, ladies and gentlemen. And Greek. And Greek, ladies and gentlemen. And Latin. And Latin. You see how they go? Mm -hmm. Now, what does it say here? See? No J in Hebrew, Greek, or Latin. You listening? Yes. So you got there, got this cross dangling around your neck with the description on it as you're looking at this class video. You listening? Yes. This does not say Jesus. Right. You listen to what I'm yes. talking about? Because it tell you right here that the letter J didn't come into existence to 14 to 1600 years after this took place for all mankind. You listening? Yes. See? You understand? Know yes. Just want to prove that to one might be looking, might not, might not knew that took place. Mm -hmm. But what this really stands for, you listen? Yeah. Now we're going to find out if this God's little boy, or was this God or truly Yahweh himself manifest in a physical body as the Son? You listen? Yes. Yeah. See? 2 Corinthians uh -huh. 5 and 19. Read. I'm going to name Bible. Mm-hmm. To wit that Yahweh was in the Messiah. Now to wit that Yahweh was in the Messiah, read. Reconciling the world unto himself. Reconciling the world unto himself. You see how that goes? Mm -hmm. See where, where where is he? Where 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 is where is Yahweh? Mm -hmm. No, we're saying where Yahweh was okay. this is Yahweh, yes, right? Yes, it is. At the sun. Mm -hmm. Read it again now. To wit that where Yahweh. Where are you reading oh, from? Excuse me. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 19, I'll go in the Bible. Uh -huh. To wit that Yahweh was in the Messiah. Uh huh. Where is he? Well, he said in the Messiah, right? right. Uh -huh. After Messiah. Uh -huh. Read. Reconciling the world into himself. See how they go? See? Mm -hmm. See? 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 Yahweh in three states, because it says right here, it says Yahshua, physical form. See? Yahshua, just get it out. Get it all out. Yahshua, physical form of Yahweh, manifested in the flesh. 
Yes. You see how that go? Yes. Just prove it. First Timothy three sixteen, King James Bible. You see how that go? Uh, John one and fourteen. You see how that go? Yes. All right. We want to get it one more place and then we're going to move on. John, I think it's, uh, I'm going to take it to John. Um, don't like anything now, I'll try to tell you. John 14 and 10. Go ahead and read that. You ain't got to roll down. Let's read John 14 and 10. John 14 and 10. John 14 and 10 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. Read on. Believest thou not that I am in the Father? It says, Believest thou not that I am in the Father? And the Father in me. Now he said, I'm in the Father. So you, you have all this out? You can see this too? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Read it again. John what? John 14 and 10? Yes, sir. John 14 and 10 of the Holy Name Bible. Read on. Believe it thou not that I am in the Father. Now I said, Believe it thou not that I am in that I am in the Father. And the Father in me. Now wait a minute, the Father is in me. Read. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, uh -huh. but the Father that dwelleth in me. All right. He doeth the works. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Say how there you go. Yes. Yeah. Talking about this God little boy. Mm -hmm. Wrong if we call you listening? Yes. This is Yahweh himself. You listening? Yes. He ain't never, never separate. Just got to show you you can't separate. If you if you, if you separate, if your head is separate from your body, you see to exist, right? Right. And then Christian doing will tell you, because Yahshua Side said, Yahshua Side said he's the head. Mm-hmm. Of the assembly, is that right? right? Or the head of the body, you got me? Right. So if your head gone and went off somewhere, you still wait for it to come back, <laughs> you'll walk around here, you walk around dead. Ain't that something? See, see, Christian dudes all messed up, right? Yeah. And you pray for the things for Yahweh bring us up out, out of that darkness? Yes. Out of that ignorance? Yes. You listening? You see how that go? See? I also got first John two and twenty seven. Oh, we ain't done. Okay. Just want to just shift you want to just Someone might be watching. Okay. That's good. All right. All right. Just want to show that. So um, now back to to get this whole chart out. I want to bring that out because it was appear to be this is three names. Mm -hmm. See this. Is, just, when you got to approve it, this is Yahweh mm -hmm. in three states, mm -hmm. two manifestations, just one spirit. He is. You got me? Yes. You understand know what I'm talking about? So it says, John 40, 26 says now, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things, right? Mm -hmm. And bring all things back to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you, right? Right. Listen? Okay? So... The only way he can do that, he got to be in you. You listening? Right. That's what that's what it's all about. And you go back up in the 14th chapter, going back up, um, it's the promise, this is the promise. Okay. John 14. It's going back up in that chapter. I'll show you where I'm gonna go here because I'm getting there. John 14 and 16, and then just, just, just uh, end that verse 20. John 14 and 16, start there. Okay, John 14 and 16, out of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Now, I'm the comforter, but he shall give you another comforter. Now, now, this is, now this, he's saying, he's saying this before he goes to his death, get it here, before he goes to his death, Burial, see, resurrection. You see the form has changed, right? Mm -hmm. See, now he's see. We, we we no longer know him after this image right here. You listen. We got to know him after the a quickening spirit or back into his supercorporeal form. You listen. This mm -hmm. is this is this is this is him as of right now. You listen. Mm -hmm. 
So he's saying, after I, when I, after I go to my death, burial, resurrection, you listen? Mm -hmm. You're seeing me in this form, now I'm going to get in you, you listen? Right. Now you're only, you can, I'm going to get in you, and, I, and I, you can see me in visions, right? It's first thing I went over, is that right? Right. So, then after he go to death, burial, resurrection, a, a terrian, in super corporal form, then a sin, and then ten days later pour out the Holy Spirit, which is the comforter, right? Mm -hmm. In the hearts and minds of men, follow, are you following? Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's the hearts and minds of men, on the Yehudahs first, see how that go? Mm -hmm. See, the symbolic of the Holy Spirit, and then seven years later, or seven days later, by prophetic time, you listen? Yes. On us who are Gentiles, you got me? After the physical body, you listen? Yes. You listen? So he's in you. Mm -hmm. He's in you, teaching you with inside of yourself, you listen? Mm -hmm. And also, and also can, can, can speak through a vessel that has the same spirit, or has the Holy Spirit that come to Yahshua speaking out of that vessel, you got me, to you that way also, you listening? Yes. See so how they go? Mm -hmm. See? All right? You see how they go? Yes. Read, continue to read. <clears throat> and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort, uh -huh. that he may abide with you forever. Read. The spirit of truth. The spirit of truth now. Which the world cannot receive. The world can't receive the spirit of truth. Because read. it seeth him not. You don't see him. Read. Neither knoweth him. R read. But ye know him. We know him. Read. For he dwells with you. R read. But right. it shall be in you. All right. I will not leave you comfortless. Right. I will come to you. Yet in a little while. Uh -huh. And the world seeth me no more. Right. But ye see me. Right. Because I live. Right. Ye shall live also. That's great. Shall they go? See? See how they go? Mm -hmm. You got it? Yes. Okay, so we're going to get um, um, uh, 1 John 2 and 27. Bring the bell at um, an hour and um, 45 minutes to the first bell. Let me read, please. First yeah. John 2 and 27, out of the Holy Name Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, do you, what do you have it? What do you be able to see? Uh, yes, this? yes, sir. And over here or what? Yes, sir, over there, too. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Where you at? Let's check it all in. Okay. Go ahead and read. First John 2 and 27, out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. But the anointing which ye have received of him abides in you. See, but the anointing which ye have received of him, Yahweh. He received it. See? Mm -hmm. See? Go ahead and read. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. It abides in you. Read. And he need not that any man teach you. Here we go again, see? Why? But as but as some but as the same anointing teaches you uh -huh. of all things right. and is truth. Right. And is no lie. No lie. And even as it has taught you, uh -huh. ye shall abide in him. That's right. That's great. See how that go? Mm -hmm. So now, the first, that's good. So the first speaker had, 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 had read, or had, or, or had read, or were called out to read, and I read it, Exodus 24, verse 1 and 2, verse 19, I mean verse 9 to 18, we didn't finish the whole all the verses, but mm -hmm. had had Exodus 24, verse 1 and 2, verse 9 and 10 read, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, this is Moses, Moses' uh, second trip here, all right? So you go over to Exodus 20, 25, 8 and 9, read that. Okay. I just want to draw, because it got through, got through saying in 1 John 2 and 27, um, it said that the anointing, which is in you, is what, that right? Yes, what chapter was that, sir? Uh, Exodus 25, verse 8 and 9 and verse 40. So Yahweh, after Moses come up out of the mouth, being up here before the day for the night, when he comes out, Exodus 25th chapter, mm -hmm. when he comes out of there, Yahweh tells him to, to build him a tabernacle, mm -hmm. is that right? Yes. Like the one that we showed him in the mouth. 
See, right. this is this is intangible. This is tangible. You listen. Mm -hmm. See, and all the instruments there up. It can't be off. You listen. Right. See, it got to be by. The, it got to be built by divine specifications. You listen. Yes. See, and man can't do it. Right. See, y'all, we got to be in the man to do the work. You listen. Mm -hmm. Got to got to reading is the father of me that do it to work. Is that right? Mm -hmm. They're doing the work all the time. The first thing all these men, you think you're doing something on your own. You ain't doing nothing on your own. It's Yahweh that's in you, both the will and the do of the other great players. You understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Huh? Yes. Just hold it right there. I have to get that. You leave me there, follow leave me there. Just a moment here. Just a moment here. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Ephesians 1, um, um, just a moment here. The will and the do of his good pleasure. Philippians 2 and 13. Okay. Uh, where are you reading from? Exodus 25, uh, 8, 9, and 40. Uh-huh. Go ahead and read. Ex yes, go ahead. Holy Name Bible. Okay. Exodus 25, 8, 9, and 40 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. And let them make me a sanctuary. See, now let them make me a sanctuary, see? Right. Read. That I may dwell among them. That, that I may dwell among them, see? Now watch it. Now. See, this is, see now this, now this is from Yahweh. Take on him a form of Yahweh Elohim. This is creative state, right? Mm -hmm. Now he wants to, he wants to. Now this is, in other words, this is this is like uh, Yahweh's abstract, mm -hmm. intermediate state, and concrete state, meaning as a replica. See how they go? This is a type and shadow. See of your outward of 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 outward man. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. See. Now this tabernacle pattern here, and tabernacle had nine vessels in here. But it hasn't been revealed yet. You listen it? Yes. See? You can see it here. This 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 is revealed. See, this is a this is an exterior, mm -hmm. meaning like the outer man. See? See? You listen it? Yes. And this says the interior, like the inner man. You see how I go? Yeah. See? See. The first speaker already talked about, you know here. That inner that that outer man. And your true self, which is your inner man. Mm -hmm. You are truly Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua in a body as of right now. That's the real you. You listening? Mm -hmm. See? Now back up here. Get this out. See? Now. So in other words, so this is Yahweh. Take on shape form of Yahweh, Elohim. Now go ahead and read. Okay. Uh, exit 25. So, see, in other words, you got these nine divine attributes here. Yes. Can you see it? Yes, sir. And nine divine attributes here took on shape and form of Yahweh Elohim. See? All right? So, I got to have nine, 
In other words, it, it, it got to fit me. It got to be precise. It got to be divine specification. Is that right? Mm -hmm. if, if it's nine divine attributes come in shape and form, mm -hmm. you listen. This is the inner. This is the inner man. You listen. Right. Now it got to it got to be nine vessels. You listen right. for me to get this fit. I'm talking about fit tight, fit fit tighter than a glove. You listen. Right. So I go. How do I know that? Because you have nine vessels in the tabernacle. You have a three in one configuration, in most holy place. The Ark of the Covenant, two archangel. That's three in one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in 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 the holy place, you have three vessels, altar incense, uh, 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 seven breast lampstand, table shoe bread. That's six together, right? Right. I mean, that's six. That's a six. Yeah. Do you have three more down at the court roundabout? Out of court, you have a cup of anointed oil, uh, 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 brazen laver. Ultra sin sacrifice, is that right? right? So that's nine to go to nine. You listen? Right. Make me a sanctuary that I, Yahweh Elohim, may dwell among them. Read. Exodus 25 and 9 uh, uh, out of Hernan Bible. Uh -huh. According to all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle. Right. And the pattern of all the instruments. And the thereof. pattern of all the instruments. You see how they go? Even, Read. Even so shall you make it. Uh huh. Exodus 25 and 40 out of her name Bible. Uh -huh. And look that thou make them after the pattern. And look thou they make them after the pattern. After the pattern. Which was show thee in the mouth. There it go. See how that go? Yes. See. See. So now, see now, then now you got the you got the 12 tribes camped around here. Mm -hmm. See? Right? Right. Around the tabernacle. See. I'm gonna come over here. That to make me a sanctuary that I, Yahweh, El Yahshua, may dwell in this tabernacle among my people, right? Right. Since you make it exactly, with all the instruments in, make sure make you make it exactly like, like what I showed you in the mouth. Is that right? Yes. Nine divine attributes, nine divine vessels. Is that what you're listening? Yes. See, man has nine, uh, 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 nine major systems in the physical body. Is that right? Right. See? First of all, there's nine divine attributes, which is intelligent wisdom and knowledge, love, beauty, and justice, power, foundation, and strength, right? right. Got the name of the nine vessels of the tabernacle. Man has nine primary systems, nervous, reproductive, endocrine, respiratory, circulatory, excretory, digestive, muscular, skeletal. Is that right? right. See how they go? Right. See? Then you got 12 tribes there, see? And we have 12, uh, uh, in other words, you got two arms, two legs, which are, which are in three parts, hand, lower arm, upper arm, that's three. Mm -hmm. Hand, lower arm, upper arm, that's six. Legs is foot, lower leg, upper leg, that's nine. Foot. Lower leg, upper leg, that's about 12. Is that right? Mm -hmm. See how that go? Mm -hmm. You got 12 tribes capped around your tabernacle. See how that go? <laughs> yes. See? See how beautiful that is? Yes. See? And it got everything else holding. I got a Becca, is that right? Yes. That's all I got, right? Yes, sir. Is that true or false? That, no, no, so, uh, Philippians, sir. Yeah, I want Philippians because, yes, I want Philippians to be going to move. Yeah, get Philippians right now. Um, um, it's just, just get this right here. Just that, sir. Go ahead, come on. So I was speaking of how Yash Masai said, or Yahweh truly said, really, that it's the Father in me that do it to work. Is that right? Right. See how it goes? It, it, it says to with the Yahweh's in the Messiah reconciling the world to himself. Is that right? right? I was just proving that this is not Yahweh's little boy as the world calls Jesus and, and, and rolling with Jesus and God. You listening? Yes. So they're not separate at any time. You listening? Yes. See, this is Yahweh himself as the son at this time. Is that right? Yes. See? See how they go? So now he's been doing everything all the time. We thought, you know what I mean? We thought about ourselves. You listen? Yes. Read. So, Philippians 2 and 13 out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. For it is Yahweh. For it is Yahweh. Which worketh 
in you. Who worketh in you. Both to will and both, to both do. Both to will and to do. Of his good pleasure. Of his good pleasure. <laughs> See how that go? Both to will and the do of his good pleasure. Time. 1.30. So that's ring, ring the bell in 15 minutes. Okay? Are, are, are we done with that? Yes, sir. Now just pull this out. Just get it all out. You may get all this. And, you know, just get it all, you know. Make sure you get this, get this. So you'll be able to see. All right? Okay. So now, the, 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 uh, the first speaker talked about and went on to prove it. See, she mentioned that these these charts, every chart that you see has chapters and verses on there. Is that right? Right. See? And she had and she had had called out and I read it Habakkuk two and two. Yeah. You listen? And this is the way this is what this wrote for. This is the way that you're surely supposed to be teaching. Right. You listen? These are teaching tools. You listen? You got me to use them. See? That's exactly how it's supposed to be done. And these these chapter and verses are not on these charts there for nothing. And these charts are just not just, you know, pretty paintings as a backdrop. You listen? Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be used. You listen? Mm -hmm. See? This is your Bible and pictorial illustration. This these charts correct your Bible. You listen? Mm -hmm. See? And she had chapter and verses read off of there. You listen? Mm -hmm. So you can read these charts. You listen? Mm -hmm. Habakkuk 2 and 2 again. See? Read. Habakkuk 2 and 2, Holy Name Bible. Habakkuk 2 and 2. Hold the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. I will stand upon my word. Habakkuk 2 and 2, please. Yes, sir. Habakkuk 2 and 2 out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. I will stand upon my watch. Oh, excuse me. A bag of two and two. I don't know anybody. Read. And Yahweh answered me and said, "Write the vision." No, said, Yahweh answered me and said, "Write the vision." Now here it is. Okay. It's written in pictorial, in pictorial form on charts on tables, right? Okay. Definition of tables will tell you in rows, see, in columns, in systematic data. You listening? Mm -hmm. In rectangular shape. It said, write the vision, make it plain upon tables, read. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Uh -huh. That everyone may read it for Now me. see, now she, the, the first speaker went up here and had the chapter and verses on here. See? And Deuteronomy 6 and 4. You can read it easily, read it fluently. You got me? Right. Easily understand. You listen? Right. You listen? Right. Use the charts. Had Deuteronomy 64 read, had Deuteronomy 4 and 12 read, which is right up here, mm. had, had Exodus 24, 9 and 10, verse 1 and 2 read, had Revelation 3 and 14 read, had Isaiah 6, 1 through 4 read, had Matthew 17, 1 through 2 read, right? Mm. Had John 1 and 14 read, had 1 Timothy 3 and 16 read for the King James Bible, had Colossians 1, 15 and 17 verse read. Is that right? Mm. See? This is this is truly how you're supposed to be teaching. You listening? Yes. All right. So, write the vision, make it plain upon tables that one may run up here and, and, and read these and read it fluently. You listen? That's right. See, so it takes the pictorial to go with the verbal. You got me? Right. So we can, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you can press that 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 one's consciousness. You listen? Yes. Open them up. Open them eyes up. You listen? Right. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna um, um, so it says that Yahweh it says that Yahweh is is in is in you both to will and to do other good players. Is that right? right? So we had read that's that we're done with that. So we had read had, had read Exodus twenty fifth chapter verse eight nine and forty. Right. Right. Make this tabernacle like divine specification, but I showed you in the mouth. You listening? Yes. But you can't. Man can't do that on his own. He can't do nothing on his own because he he never was doing anything on his own. You listening? Right. Is if Yahweh 
both the will and the do in, in, the, in, in the vessel of the great pleasure. Is that right? So now, get from me Exodus, um, Exodus uh, 31. Let me just double check here. Exodus 31. Moment, ladies and gentlemen, here. Just a moment here. Yes, Exodus 31, I'm sorry, Exodus 31. Start at verse, uh, verse 1. Exodus 31 and 1, I don't know name Bible. Uh-huh. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by, I have called by my name, uh, Come on, Bezalel. Bezalel, the son of Ura, uh -huh. the son of Hur, and the tribe of Judah. Uh-huh. And I have filled him with the spirit of Elohim. I see, now I filled them with the spirit of Elohim. You listening? Yes. Now come on, these 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 workmen, these craftsmen, you listening? Mm -hmm. These builders, you listening? Mm -hmm. I need, I, 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 this tabernacle got to be built for me to dwell in, you listening? Right. I got to get in the man, you listening, mm -hmm. and build it myself, you listening? Right. You listening? So this is made by man's hands, see, but but you as a, as, as a, you see this? Yes, sir. This physical body was was not made by man. It was made by Yahweh Elohim. You listen? Yes. You, you listen? Mm -hmm. But both ways. You listen? Right. You got me? You know there? Yes. He created you or built this this tabernacle. Like, right. you like he built this one. You listen? Yes. As a type and shadow. Read on. And I have filled him with the spirit of Elohim. I was filled with the spirit of Elohim. Read. In wisdom. See, there it go. See, in wisdom. See, divine wisdom. See how it go? And in understanding. Divine understanding. Read. And in knowledge. In divine knowledge. See how they go? You see? And, how, you see? Yes. I, see? Is, is Yahweh in you both the will and the do? You listening? <laughs> yeah. Of his great pleasure. You listening? Yes. That, it, it, it's proven right there again, right? Mm -hmm. See how they go? Now I'm going to get Isaiah 11 and 1. Isaiah 11 and 1. Isaiah 11 and 1. Allah Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. Right. And the branch shall grow out of his roots. Uh -huh. And the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him. Uh -huh. And the spirit of wisdom and understanding. There the spirit of counsel. And might, mm -hmm. the spirit of knowledge, <laughs> and of fear of Yahweh. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I go? Mm -hmm. See. I need read First uh, Corinthians uh, twenty. 1 Corinthians, 1st chapter, verse 24. Okay. Go ahead and read. Okay. 1st uh, Corinthians 1 and 24, out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. 
But for them which are called both Jews and Greeks. Uh -huh, both Jews and Greeks, or, or Yehudahs and Gentiles, read. The Messiah is the power of Yahweh. See, the, see, the Messiah, mm -hmm. this Messiah here, see, mm -hmm. the Messiah is the power of Yahweh, read. And the wisdom of Yahweh. See, and the wisdom of Yahweh, <laughs> see how that go? See, this, see, we got to get off of this. Right. See? See, this is Yahshua Messiah, these nine divine attributes. You listen to how I go? Yes. Take on human form. Now he's in you. Mm -hmm. you. You know what I mean? Both the will and the do of the great players. You see how they go? Yes. See? We are his offspring. You listen? Mm -hmm. See? See, we are the wisdom, you know, and the wisdom. and we, See, we all of this, you got know I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. Manifested. You listen? Right. And we're going back to that. You got know I me? Mean? We take these veils off. You listen? Yes. Okay? Um, okay, so let's let's go to the scripture lesson. Uh, first, uh, first uh, Corinthians three. Just a moment here. First Corinthians three. Um, Yeah, um, start at verse 9. Okay. Uh huh. First Corinthians 3 and 9 out of the Holy Name Bible. Well, where do you have it? Go ahead, that's great. Go ahead. Uh, First Corinthians 3 and 9 out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. For we are laborers together with Yahweh. So, for we are laborers together with Yahweh. Ye are Yahweh's field. See, we are Yahweh's field. Ye are Yahweh's building. We are Yahweh's building. See how that goes? Mm -hmm. See? See? We are Yahweh's building. Mm -hmm. See? See how that goes? Yes. Read. According to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, uh -huh. I have laid the foundation. I have laid the foundation. And another builder thereon. Right. But let every man take heed how the, he builds thereupon. Right. For another foundation can no man lay then right. that is laid. Right. Which is Yahshua the Messiah. Read. Now if any man build upon this foundation, uh -huh. gold, silver, precious stone, right. wood, hay, and stubble. Right. Every man's work shall be made manifest. Uh -huh. For the day shall declare it. Because it shall be revealed by fire, right? And the fire sh and the fire shall try every man's work Read. of what sort it is. Read. If any man's work abide with which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Read. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. Uh -huh. But he himself shall be saved, mm -hmm. yet so as by fire. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh. All right, now, see, now, know ye not, see, that ye are the temple of Yahweh. Read. And that, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwells in All you. All right, so if God can <laughs> say that foundation was laid, see, mm -hmm. build me a tabernacle, mm -hmm. is that right? right? That I may dwell among you. You listen? Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. I have filled bells of Leo, you got me? Mm -hmm. With the spirit of power, wisdom. Mm -hmm. See, but, but in other words, with all the nine of my attributes. Why? Because it's, it's him in you. You listen? Right. Both the will and the do of the great pleasure. You see how they go? Mm -hmm. See? Read that again. Tell me about, uh, uh, no, yes, sir. Read. Uh, uh, first Corinthians 3 and 16, I don't know who anybody. Uh-huh. Know ye not that right. ye are the temple of Yahweh? All right, read. And that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. Uh huh. For the temple of Yahweh is holy. Right. Which temple ye are? Uh huh. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seeth to be wise in this age, let him become a fool. 
That's great. So I want I want um um read verse nine again, we end right there. Okay. First Corinthians three and nine. First Corinthians three and nine, I love her name Bible. Mm-hmm. For we are laborers together. Uh-huh. With Yahweh. Right. Ye are Yahweh's field. We are Yahweh's field. Ye are Yahweh's building. Uh huh. Is that it? Yes, sir. We are we are Yahweh's building. You listen? Yes. You see how that goes? Yes. All right. And that will conclude today's uh, class lecture. If you got anything out of today's class, all praise and honor belongs to Yahweh Elohim Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let me say great day to the class once again. Great day. Are there any questions or uh, comments concerning today's class? All praises and honor and glory go to God's Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to say that we hold classes here in Omaha, Nebraska, Walking in the Spirit of Omaha class on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And for uh, for contact information, you can see our contact information at the end of this at the end of this video. Okay? And uh, let us let us stand for the doxology. Our doxology can be found in the King James Bible under the book of Jude, spelled J U. D, E, verse 24 and verse 25, also in the Holy Name Bible under the book of Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H. Same verse in verse 24 and verse 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua Messiah, our Sovereign, belonging glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all time, now and ever, let us all say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah.